Well, it's been a while, but welcome back to a new Let's Play. And what Let's Play is this? Well... Super Castlevania 4. Let me tell you, it's glad to be back. Admittedly, I did say I was going to do either a Pokemon game or... Silent Hill 2 Blind? That's still going to happen, Silent Hill 2. But I was really lazy and I couldn't record it because of the computer not being able to run it and it gave me the blue screen of death when I tried recording it. So now that I'm done with school, I'm getting a new computer, luckily. So yeah, that should be coming in a couple weeks. I don't know when. So I figured in the meantime, might as well do something else while I wait. So let's go into the castle. Into the castle, we must go. Into the castle, meet new friends. Into the castle, sell some apples. No, but... Alright, let me see. This is also a blind game. It's because I figured I might as well do another blind Konami game that I haven't done. So, yeah. This is Jump. Uh, this is Whip. What is this? This is... Oh, Whip Power Up. You can get, I think, three and... You always want to whip the candles or whatever's in the background for this level. They always give you something good like hearts, which do not refill your health, but give you ammo for yourself, weapons like this knife or dagger, whatever it is. If I press, I think, this, yes, you can throw it and then get a big heart, which is 12. It's nice because, you know, it, it's weird at first, you'll see, but it's useful, it works out in the end, you get used to it. I'm pretty glad to be playing this because I missed out on a lot of games considering I didn't own a SNES as a child and only recently have I bought one. So I missed out on a lot of good games like this, Super Metroid, Earthbound, Final Fantasy VI, Donkey Kong Country series, Super Mario World, a bunch of other stuff I missed out on and I'm glad that I can now buy them because I went to a cool store called Plane Trade and bought it. Sadly, though, I do not have a capture card, so I am playing this on an emulator, but I at least own the game, so it's legal, so yeah. You don't have to be butthurt about it. Let's see, what are you? you okay, this is the cross. Go like this. And it's pretty much a boomerang. Shaped like a cross, however that works. I like this so we could whip in pretty much every direction. That's pretty cool. And what? Oh, if you see a wall, you should probably whip it because chances are there's something good in it. And I already got hurt. Let's see what the axe does. That yeah, axe. You toss it at an arc. So that's pretty useful. And we could pretty much we could do this if I could demonstrate it or not. But let's see if I can get another chance to demonstrate it. What do you do? I think that gave me a bunch of hearts, although I'm not too sure. I'm learning here, considering this is this is a blind let's play. It is weird, you can't really... It's really awkward to whip on those stairs, you can't whip down. I can like jump off the stairs and get hurt a bunch of times. Alright, can I demonstrate it here? You can flail your whip and go like this, and we could whip like Michael J. Fox. At 88 miles per hour, of course. Onwards, though. Let's see the, ooh, what else we got. We got uh, hearts. Can I get a new sub weapon? The dagger is terrible. I don't want to use this. And that's pretty cool. You could grappling hook in this game. The only other game I've seen that is that Order of Ecclesia game. And Harmony of Despair, which is like a mix of a bunch of the best Castlevania games, which is kind of disappointing that all the original characters in that game that you start with are boring characters and there's no actual Belmont in the game which is really stupid. They're all like DS characters or uh, PlayStation 1 characters and like it's just stupid that they didn't put a single Belmont in there. You had to download them all. Which admittedly I did but they also had music like Theme of Simon which I think this is. You had to download which I didn't buy that but I heard the remix of it. That was pretty cool. This is the first time actually hearing it, and I enjoy this music. It's really good. Possibly better than Vampire Killer. Can I? It's not like we jump off. What the hell? 
I'm already going to die, and it's the first level. This is terrible. And you can also just whip the fireballs normally, but yeah, this this helps that there's a lot of projectiles coming at you fast. Not the most effective, but it works. Yeah, we're not even in the castle yet. What the hell? And this is my favorite weapon of all time. I figured that was going to fall on me. Let's see if I can do this. There we go. Use it and light things on fire because kill it with fire. Let's see if there's an enemy I can try it on. Nah, fuck it. I'll just book you diagonally. What do we have here? Whoa, ponies! That's terrible. Look at these flying pony heads. That's, t that's horrible. What was there, a pony massacre here? That is terrible. That's something that they haven't done, though, is a pony Castlevania game, considering there's a lot of fan games for that. Just like the Toho series, which actually did get a Castlevania game, which I haven't played yet, but I think I got two of them. I should definitely try that out, though, sometime. I've heard good things about it, and other things saying it's hard, and we just lost the holy water for a shitty item. Yeah, this is the stopwatch, and it stops things, and you can watch them. And these are Medusas, and they're terrible, annoying enemies that should only appear in the clock tower, but they're already appearing, meaning I already don't like this first level. Doesn't mean I don't hate the game, though, because this is a pretty fun game so far. I just hate Medusas, and anyone who's played the game will tell you. They're very annoying, and they freeze you constantly, and then you get screwed over and knocked into pits. And that's not far- whoa, shit, I almost fell over there. Is this level almost over? I guess it is, because... Yep, yeah, this looks like a fuck, I missed the food. Alright, what are you? A Harbringer! Or at least, you look like a Harbringer. Yeah, yeah, I, I was gonna kill myself there anyway. I wasn't gonna win that. At least with that much health. Considering I don't know the boss pattern. Fuck me, I died! That was terrible. Alright, thank you. This is why these Medusa heads screw you over, and I just it made me jump into that pit. Alright. Hopefully this time I can make it to the boss and actually pick up any health items that they give me because that was stupid. Oh, and they're giving me full whip before the boss, that's good. It's very generous of the game. Give me chicken. Thank you. Okay, now I could win. As I was saying before, you remind me of the Harbinger though, because you kind of look like death. But you are in death because death already exists in Castlevania. As the actual death. What are you doing? What are you going to do? Ah, oh, look at that. Got you while you're in the air, yeah. Oh, just look at that. Look at that freeze frame. That's pretty fun for a level. Alright, so what do we do now? What are we showing how far we just made it from that one place or not? What? Yeah, we're not even in the castle yet. What the hell? That's a barn. That is a tree. I guess that's the next level. No, it's not. Okay, I spoke too soon. I guess the next level is a river. We're starting in a river. Okay. Uh, this is not a river. I guess this is where the bat was. Well, I will see you next time. Thank you all for watching, and I'm glad to be back. So, I will see you next time on another exciting episode of Let's Play Super Castlevania 4 Blind.